Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign gusset connections to vertical bracing joints in RAM connection standalone. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on a column beam brace joint and the bracing section within this joint configuration is a wide flange section. Once you're ready to start your connection design process, go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. Now a new option is now available in RAM connection standalone for all the design standards for which a CBB joint is acceptable. And that's the option to go ahead and do a directly bolted coped web brace connection. To pick that option during the connection design process, go to the CBB directly bolted option and then click on the assign button. We could see that a gusset connection was assigned to the currently selected joint. So we'll go ahead and click close and we should be able to see that joint on screen and the flange of the bracing member has been coped. Now the first thing I do when I assign a connection in RAM connection standalone is I take a look at the joint selection area. Here I should be able to see the controlling interaction ratio and the status of the connection design. For this particular joint in the joint selection area, I can see that the interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that no warnings or errors were found during the connection assignment process. To review this connection further, I can navigate to the connection pad. To do that, click on the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then edit your gusset connection. Now within the connection pad, we can go ahead and review all of the different parameters that have been assigned to this particular joint, including the various interfaces. Now for this particular joint, we have an upper right brace. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interface for the gusset to brace connection. Here we can see that the connector type for bolted on web was selected by default. If you would like to switch that up to claw angles, that is also available. In addition to that, we can also customize your bolting, your whole information, and the quantity of bolts as needed. Also within the connection pad, we can review the DXF drawing. Here we can see the DXF as it would be generated by RAM Connection Standalone. This DXF can be customized and exported for your detailing purposes. The last thing I'm going to do while in the connection pad is take a look at the report. To access the report, click on the results icon at the top of the connection pad. Here I'll be able to see the full steel connection design results and you'll notice that each of the interfaces includes a quick link to get to those area of the calculations. If you would like any additional information within your report, go ahead and click on the view formulas icon. This will show you all of the formulas and variables that were used to arrive at these results along with their reference code section, which should correspond to the code that you selected during your connection design process. At this point, let's go ahead and close out of the report. And if you made any changes, go ahead and click on the save icon in the connection pad. Now we're gonna go ahead and close out of the connection pad. And if had you made any changes, we should be able to see the results would be updated here. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning a newly directly bolted coped web brace to gusset plate connection for beam column brace joints with a wide flange bracing section in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you, and see you next time.